start to talk. If you want to talk to the camera, you can talk to the camera. If you don't want to talk to the camera, you don't feel like you have to. I talk to myself when I've not got a camera on me, yet, so. <laughs> That's definitely staying in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Meet My Car. Jack is running away because he don't want to meet the car. So we're here. He's too familiar. <laughs> he is, isn't he? So you may recognise this for some videos. Sophie's here. So we, this is a Meet My Car episode two. Um, she's bought a. We'll call it a Focus ST. Yeah, it's a Focus ST, all right. So we'll call it a Focus ST. It's not actually that bad, but she's got some bits on it. So if you're new to this series, make sure you subscribe, like it bell icon we're going to keep going through with all different cars like i said it doesn't have to be voxels on the channel it can be this piece of shit as well hey <laughs> oh you're back now are you yeah, the concept of this if you haven't seen the first one go back and watch it we talk about the car and then we give the gopro to soph on a forehead and she drives around she can talk to you she can do whatever she wants but nothing illegal okay nothing illegal but we are covering the speedo it's recording it's recording. It's recording. I've never seen such a happy person on this channel. Oh, right. Know. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> so, this is so Focus ST. It has seen better days. It needs a wash. I will say that. But we already know about this. <laughs> don't, we? don't get shy now. Don't get shy. Uh, no. So, we're going to talk about what she's got on this car. So, first off, let's talk about the front. What have you got on the front? We're Just with the front, we've got the splitter. That's as that simple it? as we're keeping it on the well, front. Well, it is Yeah, badges. Yeah. Change the badges. That's about it. Grills are still standard, unfortunately. So you've gone for like a white and blue theme? Yeah. Except on the rare calipers, which we'll see <laughs> later. <laughs> um, that might change if I can get a red leather interior. Oh, right, okay. Mm. So you're thinking of uh, switching it up? If the right set was was there for me So to is buy, that why yeah. you've left one caliper blue, one caliper red? Yeah. Oh, okay, I get yeah. you. Right, so her Instagram is going to be on the screen. Make sure you give her a follow. It's also going to be in the description. So make sure you go and follow that as well. Now, if we're going to the side of the car, what have you got on the sides? We've got TRC side skirts. Okay. And that's as simple as we've kept it down the sides. What about wheels? Well, we have got <laughs> some uh, BBS CH reps. Rep, um, oh dear. Knocking about. Oh dear. <laughs> Sometimes though, they're just as good as the good, as, as the good stuff. As the normal. <laughs> I'll give up. <laughs> <They just>... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, I'll get my words out, they're just as good as the real stuff. Yes! Hey! <laughs> um, all right, so back of the car, what have we got on the back of the car? Back of the car again, we've got a TRC diffuser and we have some lovely four and a half inch black chrome tips. Oh, just to take a little look at. And four and a half inch tip. The badge was blue, but the inlays fell out, so it's just silver, but we're full winter space. <laughs> <laughs> winter mode right now, it is actually freezing as well today. <laughs> so I do not blame you. Now, talking about the exterior, so exhaust system, it's loud. It's noisy. It's proud. It's very yeah. loud. Uh, what exhaust system do you actually have on this? We have got Miltec. Miltec. Is that Miltec turbo back? Yes. What size? Do you know? Three. Three inch. And obviously we've heard it, so you've definitely got a back box of these. Who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> um, is there any silencers in there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. There is silencers in there. So interior, have you done any changes? interior other than carbon on the steering wheel to get rid of that awful awful chrome we're, we're nice and, and clean inside lovely why is it with cars as well nowadays that actually put chrome on everything and think it looks good i don't know but then it used to kill me sitting and looking at the steering wheel and, and everything on these is just chrome in front of the driver <laughs> and i had it about I don't know, three weeks, I was like, this has got I to go. I thought you were going to say three hours. No, <laughs> no, but within an hour of ownership, it was debadged. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. Standard practice. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at the car, she's a little bit lower. Yeah. Well, I say she, do you call it a she or do you call it a he? It is a she, it gets oh, abusive okay. names. Oh, right, okay. Because that's all it deserves. <laughs> <laughs> there, you, there you go. Uh, so on the exterior, it's, it's lower than normal, it's lower yeah. than stock. So what have you got suspension-wise? It's H&R lowering springs on there and that is as simple as it is no spaces do you no know, nothing do you know what drop that is uh, it's 20 at the front and 40 at the rear 
there you go, 20 front, 43. So you was talking about window tints. Yeah. You did have some very legal yes. window tints. So what happened there? I went for a McDonald's in Matlock and um, well, a very sexist copper said you should be able to peel those off, which didn't happen. Oh. So I had to get the old bank card out because I went in with my windows up into the car park and got a little knock at my window. Did he find you or did he just say remove them on the spot? No, I had to remove them on the spot, which took a really long time because it was cold. Oh, <laughs> just leave people alone. All yeah. right, <laughs> it's fine. I just don't want to be seen. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> privacy. What's it roughly running? She's about 300 getting up there. So she's mapped, isn't she? Yeah. Um, but obviously you haven't got a dyno printer. So no. everything you've got should be pushing you to around 300. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're half a build, you could say, at this point, aren't we? Yeah. So obviously, Focus SDs, they are prone for cracking liners. Yep. Which you was worried about at one point. But that was not my problem. No, no it wasn't. <laughs> what was your problem, so? <laughs> I mean, it had only done 84,000 miles. I mean, that's a cracking life for, for an ST. But unfortunately, um, a majority of my turbo is probably on the UK road somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was pretty poor on it. If it we've got might the picture, even still be in the car. We'll have a look for that. Yeah. If, if we've got a picture and we haven't got it in the car, we'll insert it on the screen. <laughs> you can see how bad that was. So if you haven't gathered already, we did the work. <laughs> so she come to us, she's had a block mod done, haven't you? Yeah. So to prevent the cylinders cracking, that's originally what she wanted. But then upon investigation, uh, it wasn't just well, that wasn't it an was issue. In the it mess. was yeah, it was bad. <laughs> She'd been abused, basically. <laughs> So with it being in a mess, uh, Soph decided to drop the bombshell when it was here. What, what was that bombshell, Soph? I think I dropped it off on like <laughs> the first week of May and was like, oh yeah, but I'm going to the Isle of Wight takeover, which was about five weeks later. So I picked it up, maybe was it the Monday as the Isle of Wight we were going the Friday and took it for a drive and it was the gasket to the oil feed line, wasn't yes, it? Yes, that it was. actually decided it didn't want to play ball so technically yeah. this part is actually part coarser yes it is yes because we put a coarser part on it to fix it <laughs> and guess what have you had a leak since touch wood no and we <laughs> i picked it up at seven o'clock the thursday night and set off for the out of white three o'clock the next morning <laughs> so there you go yeah literally we got a bombshell we got rushed <laughs> to do everything that we possibly could fix a leak and we literally had to sort it with a coarser part and that coarser part is still holding strong that's still actually on the car, That's isn't it? Still yeah, on the so car. <laughs> it's clearly doing the job it should have done. Jack's the cameraman this evening because he loves it, don't you? you? You look like you're really having an odd job there, don't you, Jack? It's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> it is freezing. So, what's going to happen now? If you haven't seen the first episode of this, we give Soph a GoPro. She straps it to a forehead. Yeah, fun, I know. Uh, and then she drives around. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a little outtake. <laughs> Are we all here? <laughs> <laughs> we give her the GoPro, she drives around with it on her head and we get some nice shots. You can hear the engine, you can hear the exhaust, you can make your mind up on what it looks like. You can actually hear some turbo flutter over the exhaust. Oh, can you as yeah, well? Yeah, you can still I'm hear it. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> so let's switch to the GoPro and let's let Soph uh, show you exactly how a car drives. Start to talk. If you want to talk to the camera, you can talk to the camera. If you don't want to talk to the camera, don't feel like you have to. I talk to myself when I've not got a camera on my head, so. <laughs> That's definitely staying in the video. <laughs> <laughs> First thing about a Focus ST, after you've heard this, turn that traction control off. Ugh. Seat belts, kids. I'm not sure if you can see Rusty there taking the piss have some lights on it's a bit foggy let's go <laughs> oh first thing is to not get scraping on the floor pulling out of here oh. let's go this way take you for a little spin in the rusty autos built Ford something you see too often. Oh, shall we give you a little taster?
reminded kids to always do the speed limit. All these little carbon bits we were talking about, because everything just here was chrome and that is not a good look. Surprised Jack even let me come back. He said he'd had enough of this car in the first place when they rebuilt it in five weeks and got it ready to go. <laughs> he didn't look too impressed when I pulled up this afternoon, but fantastic work as always. She's getting high mileage now.
<laughs> Hopefully the next time you all see this car it will be in having some more work done by Rusty and once the suspension is sorted we can then look at big power. And then I'll just buy a PS13. And this can be my daily as it is anyway. says when I get out of here they bully me for parking a skip next to a skip <laughs> you can hear you coming from a mile away <laughs> I'm gonna hear you when you left as well <laughs> <laughs>